Hey guys, this is KD and welcome to GetTutorialized.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an ultrasonic controlled servo car. Well, this thing uses an ultrasonic sensor in the front to detect obstacles and the motors are servo motors with 360 degree complete rotation. All the parts required to make this car are available on VegaRoboKit.com. So, catch out for the tutorial. Okay, now the first thing you will be needing is a chassis. Now this chassis is specially designed for servo motors. As you can see, you have a rectangular slot over here and a place for four nuts and bolts to fasten your servo motors. So two of them and one front support for the caster wheel. Servo motors, two of them. Now these servo motors should be of 360 degree complete rotation as they are acting as a rotating axis for your tires obviously tires now these tires have a perfect slot which go around the rotating axis of the servo motor your Arduino Uno any sort of ultrasonic sensor now this one this blue one is the HCSR04 with uh, the 4 pin configuration of VCC trigger echo and ground and this red one is DYPME 007 V1 this one has a fifth pin for out I think so I'll be using this uh, HCSR04 as it only needs four pins and this thing will consume one extra digital pin on my Arduino Uno so I think so I'll be using this one you can also use this uh, Arduino motor control shield you can mount this thing directly on the on your Arduino Uno you have uh, two connections given for servo motor and you can externally connect 9 volt or 12 volt battery over here for uh, higher current higher current consumption a couple of 9 volt batteries one 9 volt battery connector connected to a DC jack to power up your Arduino Uno and another 9 volt battery connector without the DC jack your caster wheel for a front support uh, you also need a mini breadboard for mounting your ultrasonic sensor male to male connector pins You may also need a cardboard piece like this with four punched holes as these four holes appear on the Arduino Uno. This thing is for mounting your Arduino Uno on your metal chassis as the contact should not get shortened. So I'll be using this thick cardboard to avoid the short circuit. You may also need a double sided foam tape for mounting your batteries and other stuff to your chassis. So that's all with all your requirements. Now let's first assemble this board in terms of the mechanical parts and all those wheels, tires, motors. So after we complete the assembly, we'll move to the coding part of this thing. Okay, now the first thing we'll be doing is uh, connecting attaching our servo motor to the chassis just as simple as that and you can just fasten any of these two holes with the help of your nuts and bolts So here we go, we have completed with both the servo motors. Now the next thing I'll be doing is connecting the, the tires, the both the tires as well as the caster wheel. So 
so here we go the basic model is ready now the next thing I'll be doing is connecting the Arduino Uno and the batteries this is a nice place to just stick out your batteries over there you need to bring this wire up and connect these things to your Arduino Uno so let's go ahead and connect your Arduino Uno to fix my Arduino Uno I just use uh, two nuts and bolts which align with the grid underneath and a cardboard as a spacer now if you flip your bot you will see this is the first battery I have fixed it with the help of foam tape uh, this is the one battery with the DC jack it will be powering up your uh, Arduino Uno which will be further powering your ultrasonic sensor now coming to the second battery I have fixed it in the same way with the foam tape sideways brought up the wires for your servo motors Now coming to the connections, I'll be first showing you how to connect your servo motors. I'll be using this kind of bug strip to connect your servo motors to this breadboard. As you can see over here, I've used this bug strip at a right angle. Now I'm be, I'll be using the secondary battery, the second battery which I mentioned earlier. I've brought up the positive terminal and I've also extended the whole positive terminal line and made available also over here. Same goes with the negative terminal that is a ground and as you can if you notice this plug of your servo motor and if I hold it in this way the rightmost pin is brown that is the ground thing the central one is red which is a positive and the leftmost is the signal that is a PWM signal which will be receiving from your Arduino Uno so this is the left motor I'll be connecting to the left hand side the right one so I've connected the servo motors in this way now all I need is two PWM digital outputs from this Arduino Uno so I think so I'll be using pin number 9 and 10 coming to the programming part of this thing so as we are using servo motors we need to include the servo library in this program and for the ultrasonic pin sensor we will be defining pin number 7 as echo pin and pin number 6 as a trigger pin we also need to declare our servo motors, servo motors so the left servo and the right servo coming to void setup serial dot begin at 9600 bits per second that is the serial communication between your Arduino Uno and your computer pin mode trick pin output so we will be declaring the pin number 6 which we have declared as trick pin as output and the echo pin which is pin number 7 as input so the trigger pin shall be triggering ultrasonic pulses and the echo pin shall be receiving the echoed ultrasonic pulses so we'll be attaching our left servo to pin number 9 and the right servo to pin number 10 as simple as that and these are the five lines in void setup coming to void loop we need 
two variables namely distance and duration these are the two components of your uh, ultrasonic sensor you will be switching your trick pin high for 200 or 100 milliseconds is also fine and low so this pin shall be you know emitting ultrasonic pulses for two seconds high and two seconds low we'll be recording the duration and the distance and with the help of this formula we'll be receiving the distance in the form of centimeters and we'll be just printing the distance in the serial monitor if you are using the serial monitor over here as simple as that you can also view this complete program in my other video for the ultrasonic sensor HCSRO4 and DYP ME007 so this, uh, this is the required code for your obstacle avoider it says if distance is greater than 7 cm go forward so we will be turning the left servo in the forward direction and the right servo in the forward direction else if the distance is not less than is not greater than 7 cm that means an obstacle is in front of you so we need to turn left so we will be hitting the left wheel forward and the right wheel backward my bad the left wheel backward and the right wheel forward which will be turning your servo car in the left direction actually so as both the tires are rotating in the opposite direction we call it an axial turn so as simple as that so I'll give you a slight recap including the servo library declaring the echo and trigger pins naming your servos left servo and right servo serial communication declaring them declaring your ultrasonic sensor pins as output and input attaching your servos this whole code is available in my other video I which I especially made for ultrasonic sensors you will get the distance in the form of centimeters and if this distance is greater than 7 move forward if this distance is less than 7 obstacle is detected you need to turn left as simple as that so let's burn this program and check out how our watch is running